Fortnite's new updated quests have just dropped a major hint at who is coming in Fortnite's upcoming new season. And you won't believe it. To find this insane teaser, we have to complete the latest quests in Fortnite, which can take over one hour to complete. Ah. Bro, that's like forever, Boring. what? So to save time, here is a super fast breakdown of the storyline in this week's Fortnite quest and what it means for season three. We speak to Medusa through the Oracle and she reveals that she has beef with Zeus and is happy to help us take him down. She informs us of Zeus's powerful items, which apparently have been lying around Mount Olympus. Powerful items that were stolen from Medusa by Zeus. Hey, yo, that might explain their beef, huh? We head over to Mount Olympus and collect some of these stolen items from Zeus. But it becomes clear that these are not the powerful items that contain Zeus's power. Eventually, we stumble upon a hourglass, which Medusa says this hourglass. Did Zeus entice the Greek god Hephaestus himself to copy my smith works? Why? Uh, for those who are confused, Hephaestus is the god of blacksmithing, metal work, you know, just making stuff. We secretly meet up with Medusa and she informs us that this hourglass was not made by herself, but it resonates with godly power. She needs more time to investigate and orders us to distract the gods while she uncovers the truth. After we distract the Greek gods, we head back to the Oracle. The Oracle orders us to go and search, search and, and destroy. destroy these hourglasses, which seem to be the source of Zeus's power. And they can be found at multiple locations around our island. And considering this is the source of Zeus's ultimate power, he seems to be pretty careless about where he places them. I mean, they're literally just at random places in our island. Huh? With every hourglass destroyed, Zeus got weaker and weaker. Less and less power did Zeus have because his power was contained in these now broken hourglasses. <laughs> we meet back with Medusa and she helps us further. After her research, she hands us a new creation of hers, the Medusa Insignia, which is made out of the destroyed pieces of Zeus's hourglass. We take it and head over to the final mission of defeating Zeus. We are told that Zeus has one final hourglass, the Stormforge Hourglass, which can be found at Mount Olympus. We sneak in and destroy it, weakening Zeus's power to an all-time low. Then, with his power weakened, the final fight officially begins. long battle with the god of thunder himself it seems that zeus is defeated uh, well kind of after defeating zeus medusa tells us that zeus survives but now lets freedom reign in his place hey don't forget if you're super into all this star wars stuff make sure you use my supporter creator code that you can see on screen right now it actually supports me a ton when you guys enter it in so if you guys like these videos hey why not do it hashtag ad hashtag i'm an epic games partner hi guys thanks we head back to the oracle and she informs us that we have you have won a great victory for you Humanity, but your war has not yet begun. Storm clouds gather. The wanderer draws near. Even in the darkness, hope will guide you.
Storm clouds. The wanderer draws near. Even in the darkness, hope will guide us. Huh? It seems Zeus has now been defeated. And the leader of the Greek gods have been humiliated by humankind. But they are still alive. But still, something much darker is coming towards our island. The, uh... Wanderer is coming. Hey, yo, who the heck is the Wanderer? Well, the answer to who is coming to Fortnite will actually blow your mind. You may have missed it, but these quests in Fortnite actually have references to a possible upcoming arrival of King Kong to a Fortnite game. Yeah, really. We have already talked a ton about the endless references to Godzilla coming to Fortnite. But now these quests and the upcoming events actually have has some major references with a possible upcoming arrival of King Kong. We already know that storm clouds are connected to the season's final event. As we know, lightning craters are playing a major part in the season's final event. But the Wanderer draws near might actually be a reference to King Kong. The Wanderer happens to be the name of the iconic boat found in the King Kong films. The SS Wanderer finds its way to Skull Island, which of course is the location where King Kong was found. This reference fits quite nicely with the fact that something is coming towards our Fortnite islands during this event. We have already seen placeholders of something giant heading towards our island, presumably for this final event. We at first believe this could be related to Godzilla swimming towards our island, but we were unsure as Godzilla seems to still be frozen underneath the ice glacier. Could this right here actually be a boat sailing across the ocean. It clearly would move with the waves. As we can see, whatever this thing is, is definitely passing across the water. You know, a bit like a boat. If Medusa's referenced this thing as the Wanderer, who is drawing near, and we know there is a boat called the Wanderer in the iconic King Kong films, could this right here be the first reference to the boat from King Kong? Confirming that King Kong himself might actually be coming in a future Fortnite season. This might actually make sense as we still believe that Godzilla is still frozen underneath the ice glacier in chapter 5. And this might just be who he's waiting for. We have already talked about how the brand new Godzilla film reveals that Godzilla emerges from a giant ice glacier just like the one in Fortnite. We've already seen the Godzilla film references of the crashed plane which is currently in our game. We of course have heard the sounds of a monster roaring from underneath the cracking melting ice in our game. And this doesn't even mention the fact that the You Godzilla vs. Kong film actually credits Epic Games in the creation of the film. Yeah, crazy. King Kong, Godzilla, new event, new season. Hey, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.